Okay, I uh, had a very enjoyable victory last Saturday night on uh, senior night, you know, for our, for our players. Uh, it was a good win, got a chance to get everybody to play and give us some momentum heading in the Iron Bowl. Uh, all, uh, uh, Alabama, uh, just looking at them offensively, uh, really starts with our quarterback. I've been very impressed with the way he's operated. He's like a running back playing the quarterback position. And really what stands out to me is when things break down, uh, you know, he makes good decisions, protects the football. He can throw the ball vertically down the field very well and really has had good command um, you know, of his offense. They have wide receivers that are all playmakers. Uh, they'll flip the speed sweep to them some. Uh, they'll throw short. They've got the ability to take short ones into, uh, you know, into the end zone. Defensively, really what stands out to me, uh, this may be the best pass rushing uh, unit um, since I've been playing Alabama. They really do a good job of, of uh, especially when they know it's past situations of harassing the quarterbacks. You know, it's been very impressive to see the amount of touchdowns that their defense has created, mostly off their pass rush. Um, it's been very impressive to watch Jeremy Pruitt, uh, their new defense coordinator we're very familiar with. Uh, went against him numerous times. Um, he likes to bring a lot of pressure uh, in the past when we played him. Uh, and we expect them to to, to do a, a lot of the same same things as far as that goes. But overall, a very solid team, uh, not a whole lot of weaknesses. They make you earn it. And, uh, you know, our guys are really looking forward to going there and playing them. Just on an injury update, we are expecting uh, Cameron Petway and Chandler Cox to play. Um, our quarterback uh, situation, we're still not ready to name a starter. I want to make sure and go through practice today and tomorrow before we uh, make a call on who – uh, will will lead us out from the quarterback position. But overall, um, you know, I really like uh, where our team's at. They're really looking forward to playing this game, and um, I'm looking forward to watching them. So was not able to throw at all on Sunday? He did some. He did some. Now, we didn't do a whole lot, but, it, but he did some. Well, I mean, he's one of our impact players. Uh, you know, he's one of the best running backs in all of college football and one of the best in our league. So anytime you have a guy like, um, you know, like that back, you know, it changes things. It changes things in a good way for us. Do you think he'll be under any kind of limitations, expected limitations? I can't guarantee he's going to be 100% at this this point, but I am expecting <coughs> him to play. Will you, will you start him or? I, we'll, we'll, we'll decide that later in the week, but like I said, I'm expecting him to play. You know, um, I said he's one of our leaders, so the fact to have him out there it definitely helps. And um, you know, certain people's maybe not 100% is better than others 100%, and we're hoping that'll uh, that'll be the case. If it's not Sean, would you go ahead and start Jeremy or is, or is John? We're not ready to make that call yet. Um, we'll see how they do today in practice, all of them, um, and probably see how they do tomorrow too, and then uh, make a decision. Well, you know, I think first of all, you got to make sure somebody's healthy enough to go out there and protect yourself. That's the first thing. Uh, then if you answer that question uh, as yes, then you go to what guy gives your team the best chance of, of winning and being successful. And so that's what we'll be looking at, you know, the next couple of days. That's Dan Pruitt, uh, how's he doing? Yeah, I, I'm not ready to say for sure that uh, he'll uh, he'll be back. But uh, he was out there yesterday, and he'll be out there again today. So we'll uh, probably know more about him later in the week, too. What about Josh Olsen? Uh, we expect him to play. Now are we both okay now? Yes. You know, it's just being able to, to get you know guys like Trey Williams some rest and Montavious Atkinson. Yeah. And, and, uh, how, how much healthier do you feel like the defense is now than, than it was even a couple years yeah, ago? Yeah, you know, I think overall our defense is uh, in pretty good shape health-wise, this being the 12th game. Um, you know, Trey Williams, that was big to give him another week. You know, he, he played at Georgia, but he wasn't 100%. He played with a lot of guts. But uh, I think he's really close to that. And uh, I think, you know, defensively, we're close to, to being 100%. How, having him and Deshaun healthy and together, how, how important is that to you guys at the defense? Well, I think it's very important. I mean, that's our two starters, you know, and, um, you know, that's the guys that have worked together a whole lot. And, um, you know, having them ready for this week is, is real big. Darrell Williams looks like he's really come on this season before we talked about him. 
he's really played well. He's getting more confidence. Um, you know, he's flying to the football. He's been tackling well. And uh, he's one of those young guys that's, that's really grown up this year and uh, starting to turn into the player that we really expect him to be. And, uh, you know, I think he's got potential to even get better. He's pretty athletic, you know, and, and the young guys, it takes just a little bit, you know, to get used to the different playing in the box, playing outside the box. But I think the transition's been very good for him. Did Cam Martin prove something on Saturday that's going to kind of make him factor more going forward? Yeah, that, that had to help him uh, to get that many <coughs> carries uh, in a game and, and be that successful. It, it definitely helped him. You know, he did play earlier in uh, the year sparingly at time to time, but. Uh, He's getting more confidence, and I know the coaching staff's uh, confident in him. So, uh, you know, and he can run. I mean, he's got some missability, some playmaking ability. Uh, he's going to be a fine football player for us. Jesse has usually been very strong against the run. <clears throat> Pruitt's done very well against you guys against the run game. What makes this year kind of unique for them in that not only are they leading the country, but how are they doing that compared to other years? Well, you know, Really, if you go back, I mean, they're always going to be one of the best, if not the best, you know, um, against the run in the country. Their defensive front and their front seven's always uh, near the top. Um, like I said, the biggest thing I think this year for me is just their ability to, to rush the passer. Uh, their two defensive ends are both dynamic. Uh, their internal guys are very good one-on-one -on -one, uh, pass rushers, too. And, you know, they when they get you in a pass for sure situation, it's like a feeding frenzy, and they get a lot of momentum, and they've knocked the ball loose, they've picked it up, they've tipped balls, they've caused uh, bad throws for interceptions, uh, and they have a lot of touchdowns on defense, and that's real impressive, you know, when you're looking at them. How important is it that y'all be able to establish some kind of running game? Yeah, I, I think that'll be one of the keys to the game, us being able to, to run the football. That's what we do. We're a run play action team, and um, you know, for us to be successful, we're going to have to to run the football and be able to run the football effectively, and that's always the challenge. You know, when we play them, and uh, the years we do well, we run the football effectively. How important is it to have uh, your own pass rush being so deep and so experienced that can take true freshman quarterback? Like well, you know, I think it helps. You know, that's you know, we've got one of the better defenses um, in college football this year, and. Um, you know, that'll definitely help trying to contain the guy. We've got to keep him off balance. Um, you know, we've got to get after him. And, and our defensive front has done an excellent job all year. And, um, you know, that'll be one of the keys for us defensively is just containing him. We talked a lot about your defensive front, but just from front to back, how much has this defense improved from even, you know, last season? Well, they've improved greatly since last season. And we went into this season, and we felt like this had a chance to be one of our better defense, at least since I've been here. And, you know, each week, you know, it seems like they've gotten better. Um, you know, they're, they're stopping the run very well. We're not giving up a lot of explosive plays in the pass or run game. And uh, our red zone defense has been excellent. And, um, you know, we hadn't given up a rushing touchdown in a while. I think that's a sign of a, a great defense. And they're playing with a lot of confidence right now, too. So um, this will be a big challenge for our defense, you know, going there. And they got a lot of playmakers. And like I said, it starts with their quarterback. And he's like a running back. He breaks tackles like a running back. And he's pretty poised, too. You know, when you watch him, it looks like the moment's not too big. The turnaround on defense, is that something that happened, you know, from last year and even the year before this year? Is that something that happened overnight, or is that more of a, a process? Well, I, I, th I think it's a little all of the above. Um, we have some – our impact players have stayed healthy. Um, you know, and we had a lot of carryover from last year. You know, in the bowl game last year, we played our best game defensively. So we had a lot, a lot of momentum. Uh, Coach Steele and his staff uh, has really done a good job with our guys. Um, and then we've got some guys that, that kind of took that next step, you know, of, of playing and uh, playing very aggressive. And um, they're having fun playing defense. Yeah, you know, the unique thing about this rivalry is if it's an in-state guy, they kind of already have a good idea of uh, kind of what makes up this rivalry. Um, it's sometimes the young out-of-state guys that takes them a little bit to get used to everything. But we've got a lot of local guys, you know, playing. And uh, we've got some freshmen from the state of Alabama. And so I think that will help us.
Yeah, uh, well, I mean, they're very talented. They're always one of the most talented, if not the ta most talented team in the country. And I think this year is, is really close to the same. You know, 2010 we won. 2000, uh, you know, 14, that's still a tough one right there. I mean, we had a chance to, and we just didn't get it done. But uh, we're looking forward to going there. We're looking forward to going there this year's team and uh, looking forward to playing. You know, we're taking this as Iron Bowl, and we're taking this as playing against our rival and uh, going there and needing to win. And, uh, you know, after the game, we'll we'll talk about all the what-ifs and everything that goes with it. How much a game like this where you've got two really solid defenses and historically the games have been close, where you find the more aggressive, the one you're using, Daniel Collins? You know, that's a possibility. Um, you know, each year – you got to look at your team and you got to look at their team and you got to, you know, get a strategy of how aggressive or how conservative and all the above in all areas. I mean, obviously, you, you play to your strengths and, and Daniel's one of our strengths. So uh, we'll just see how the game unfolds and <coughs> don't want to give our game plan to you, to be honest with you. Well, I mean, I think overall, I mean, you, you look at our turnaround. I mean, when he started calling the plays, you know, we started getting some rhythm and, and doing some good things, you know. Uh, here as of late, you know, we've had some pretty key injuries right there, but we're getting healthier. And uh, But I think overall he's done a really good job and gave us some momentum. When you look at Alabama's offense, it's kind of similar to what you guys are doing some of the schools in Michigan. Yeah, it's getting more similar each year. <laughs> Does that help you as far as? Preparing for them because you're looking in the mirror. You know, um, you know, you know, each offense is a little bit different. Um, you know, there's a lot of teams, you know, in our league that are doing a little bit more of the, you know, the spreading it out, the lightning motions, the quarterback runs, and the things off of it. Um, but re regardless, you got to stop it. And uh, every every offense is a little bit different. Comment on that. What have you learned about Jeremy Pruitt from the times you faced him and the successes you've had? Well, he's a he's a good football coach. You know, he's a former high school football coach, and a lot of times, you know, the the high school coaches are a little bit different than than the college coaches, and he uh, he's always done a good job with what he's had. Anything else? Gus Carlson's up for the finalist for the Groves Award. You talked yeah. about him. Just just having a guy like that. Yeah. Well, first of all, we're real proud of Daniel. Um, you know, for, for being one of the finalists. And I've kind of said probably since the first of the year that I think he's the best kicker in college football. And each week he answers the bell and, and he shows that. And he's made unbelievable pressure kicks time and time again. He's a huge weapon on kickoffs. And, you know, he's one of our leaders. You know, I mean, he's one of our team leaders. And uh, his teammates and coaches have a lot of respect for him. Would you rather him not lay, try to lay people out on the kickoff there? He, he, tell you what, that was one of the best licks of the night there. That was impressive. He can do it all. We, we may put him in linebacker. Did you learn anything Saturday about what Jeremy could do to help you this week? Or did you already kind of know that going into You know, I mean, I thought Jeremy did a solid job running our offense, like I said. And, uh, you know, he's the most experienced guy we got. I mean, you know, he's got a lot of experience. He knows the offense. And he made some good throws. He made some good, good plays with his feet. And most importantly, protect the football. Do I feel comfortable? Uh, I mean, you, you you do what's best for your team, and you never want to make a decision earlier, okay, and be wrong, then wait later and, and give a chance to see exactly Sean's status and, and everything that goes with that. 